Hello my dear students welcome back to my channel SSLC 2022 science examination preparation final revision video series 3 I welcome you all to the video series 3 so this video contain all the very important questions which I say as golden questions for your final examination dear students so whichever the question which I am posting for the lesson control and coordination Similarly, for other lessons, you must focus and learn these questions to get 70 plus marks in your final examination. And all the questions which I am sharing from the control and coordination covers the maximum concept with respect to examination point of view. Dear students, without skipping the video, watch the entire video to get maximum benefit, to get maximum marks in your final examination. And when it comes to control and coordination, this particular lesson carries six marks. There is six marks weightage for this particular lesson. So without wasting much time, I am continuing the video. The first and very important question, draw the diagram showing the structure of human brain. So this particular question can be expected for four marks. So do learn the human brain diagram and also all the parts to label. Second question, part of hind brain that controls the involuntary actions. The right answer is medulla. Medulla is the part of hindbrain that controls all the involuntary actions. Followed by the parts that interpret the sensory information. See in your brain the sensory informations are interpreted by thalamus. The right answer is thalamus. Moving to next question. It is a multiple choice question. So this Whatever the video I am sharing today, it contains one mark question, two mark question, MCQs and everything. So it's very important. The third question, a response that does not happen in plants due to their growth is options, bending of root towards light, penetration of root in deep soil, folding of leaves when touched, climbing tendrils of a creeper. The right answer here is folding of leaves when touched. This is not happen due to the growth. Moving to fourth question, the correct path of movement of nerve impulses in the following diagram. My dear students, you must learn the neuron diagram and also you must know the parts of it. So here, if you observe the neuron structure, it should be in the order of P, R, S, Q because P is the dendrites, R is the cell body, S is the axon and Q is the nerve ending. So the option should be in the order of p r s q so when we look at question number four first option second option and third option they're not in that order but the fourth option is in the order of p r s q and this is the right answer fifth question as i told you please learn the neuron diagram and also learn to label all the parts of it that can be expected you can expect this question for two marks Moving to some of the give reason questions. So this is asked in the examination. These kind of questions can be asked. So based on voluntary and involuntary actions. First of all, learn what is voluntary, what is involuntary. Voluntary actions are the actions which are under your control. Involuntary actions are not under your control. Here, clapping at the end of program and fluctuating the blood pressure in the body. So these two questions, if you observe, Clapping at the end of program is the voluntary action because you will decide to clap or not. Moving to second, fluctuating the blood pressure in the body, that it cannot be controlled by you. So it is an involuntary action without thinking. So without you know your involvement, the blood pressure can be raised or can be decreased. Okay. So fluctuating the blood pressure in your body is involuntary action because it is the action which is not under your control moving to next question we withdraw our leg when stepped on the thorn unknowingly dear students this question is based on the reflex action based on the reflex action if they ask any question so any different statement you can write the same answer reflex actions have the similar answers so when we withdraw our leg when we stepped on thorn unknowingly so trace the sequences of events which occur in this action what exactly happened in this action? First of all, see receptors will receive the stimulus of the pain because you have stamped without knowing, without knowing on the thorn. 
so receptors will receive the stimulus of the pain secondly the message will reach to spinal cord through the sensory neuron at this moment and responses reach to the motor neuron through the association neuron and what will you do you will respond to that particular event so that your effector will be you know drawn back from that particular region so very important so you have to know about the reflex action one question can be expected from this particular point moving to seventh b question which part of the human nervous system control this action so which part of the human brain controls the reflex action the right answer is spinal cord okay or you can also write reflex arc moving to next eighth question the incorrect statement related to thyroxine hormone among the following is so four options are given you have to choose the incorrect answer not the correct one so regulates fat metabolism is the answer related to thyroxine it is the right one deficiency leads to goiter this is related to thyroxine next it is secreted by parathyroid gland so this is not related to the statement okay and option d iodine in the food is essential for the production this is also related to the thyroxine hormone so the option c is the wrong that is it is an incorrect statement related to thyroxine hormone that is it is not secreted by parathyroid gland it is secreted by thyroid gland moving to next ninth question name the given structure dear students many of you have asked me that ma'am do we have to learn the reflex arc diagram say reflex arc diagram will not be asked in the examination so instead based on the diagram the questions are been asked okay or schematic representation of reflex arc has to be practiced so name the given structure is the first and foremost question they are asking and next followed by what is the general function of this particular structure first of all the structure is reflex arc what is the function of reflex arc see this is the one which take the nerve impulses in the reflex action reflex arc will act as a major you know uh, it play a very important role during the reflex action okay it takes the nerve impulses so followed by next question they have asked here mention the function of parts labeled as a and b observe the picture part a and part b is given so which is part a part a is sensory neuron because information is getting inside and part b is the effector because you will be responding towards the action which is happening at this particular point that is during the reflex action so effector is the question b okay so sensory neuron what does it do it carries the impulses from receptor to spinal cord effector will respond to the stimulus that means the action which you are performing understand so here the one more question they have asked is these structures in animals are said to be more efficient to give quick responses why it is because see it acts on the impulses even before it reaches the brain because you are not waiting for your brain to respond when reflex action is happening okay before it reaches to brain you will respond reflex arc develop in some animals where thinking process of brain was not fast enough so it functions in the case of emergency and does saves the animals from the danger so we are all escaping from the danger because of the presence of reflex arc in our body okay because we are able to respond to reflex action immediately yes so you have to know about this particular point so based on these points only the question can be slightly changed but this is very important so next based on one of the hormone so do learn all the hormones animal hormones and also the plant hormones a person's face has become pale and his breathing rate has increased due to the fear see children here they have given some hints a person face has become pale if you don't know answer for this question further they have given some hint his breathing rate has increased due to fear see due to fear if the breathing rate is increasing fear is the common aspect for adrenal gland so when you are having that you know uh, fearness in your body adrenal gland releases the adrenaline hormone as a result of it your breathing rate increases your blood pressure increases okay so here adrenaline is directly secreted into blood when you are in fear 
so the what happen your breathing rate increases your you know blood pressure increases so as a result of it what happened the person's face becomes pale if you write so much also you'll get full marks in the examination moving to next question how is the function of thyroid gland helpful for balanced body growth in the humans okay and explain the function of pancreas as endocrine gland see pancreas act as two things i'll tell you how is the function of thyroid gland helpful for balanced body growth see thyroid gland play a very significant very important role in the metabolism of your body growth of your body development of your body this hormone increases the energy level whenever it is required in our body okay so it is very helpful for the balanced body growth in humans when it comes to second question explain the function of pancreas as an endocrine gland see pancreas as an endocrine gland it secretes the hormones called as insulin it secretes a hormone called as insulin and also the glucagon so both insulin and glucagon help in controlling the blood sugar level in the body very important in simple you can write pancreas secretes insulin hormone it helps in controlling the blood sugar level and what is the other function of pancreas pancreas also releases the pancreatic enzymes that help during the digestion understand moving to 13th question the plant hormone that causes the wilting of leaves so the right answer is abscisic acid dear students you must learn all the four plant hormones and their functions it's very important the function of auxin is you know it help in the cells to grow longer and it is synthesized more at the shoot tips function of gibberellin they help in growth of the stem function of cytokinin it help in promoting the cell division and also when it comes to abscisic acid it is the hormone which help in inhibiting the growth of the plant so wilting of leaves is an example for inhibiting so right answer here is abscisic acid moving to 14th question the folding up of leaves of a sensitive plant on touching with the finger is not a tropism why this is basically an example for growth independent plants because two plants two types of plants are there the plants which depend on growth the plants which depend on which independent on growth so the plant which are independent on growth will show the non directional movement example touch me not plant okay see when we touch the leaves of touch me not plant it does not fold towards the direction where we touch okay it will fold in the opposite direction because it is showing the non directional movement okay so here the direction of movement of the leaves does not depend on the direction of stimulus so very important so on the basis of independent growth of the plant this point is very important moving to next question the plant hormone that is responsible for the good growth of fruits and seeds this was asked in the examination dear students so the plant hormone that that is responsible for the good growth of fruits and seeds the right answer is cytokinin because in your textbook if you observe cytokinin promotes cell division and it is natural that they are present in the greater concentration in the areas of rapid cell divisions such as in the fruits and seeds they have given in the textbook so the right answer here is the cytokinin moving to next question iodized salt must be a part of our diet why very important dear student based on the hormones present in the animals also the questions are been asked see it is because iodine stimulate the thyroxine hormone so when thyroxine hormone is stimulated by thyroid gland what happen it help in overall metabolism of our body so the doctors advise everyone to take the iodized salt especially for the patients who are suffering from the goiter so iodized salt must be part of our diet because it help in stimulating the thyroxine hormone present in the thyroid gland moving to next question what is synapse dear students you know about neurons there are millions of neurons present in our body and between all the two neurons there is a small space the space or the gap between two neurons we will call it as synapse moving to next question what is reflex action or reflex arc what is the difference between it so many times they have asked in the examination so reflex action is different from reflex arc reflex action is sudden response to stimulus if you write so much you will get full marks sudden response to stimulus uh, sudden response to the stimulus 
reflex action is nothing but the sudden response to the stimulus and whereas the reflex arc is the pathway which is involved in the reflex action so very important then why is the use of iodized salt advisable just now i told us so similar answer has been given iodized salt is advisable as i told you because it contains iodine so iodine is very very important for the synthesis of the thyroxine hormone by the thyroid gland so it is very important to consider iodized salt in our diet next why are some patients of diabetes treated by giving the injections of insulin why the patients have to take the injections of insulin why doctor suggest the patients to take the injections of insulin so these kind of questions can be arised in your examination because see insulin is a hormone actually this is produced by the pancreas in our body so this insulin hormone will basically regulate the blood sugar level in our body but when insulin is not been produced by the pancreas in the proper amount then the patient will be diabetic so the doctor suggests the diabetic patient to take the injections of insulin to balance the blood sugar level in the body okay yes so next 21st question name the plant hormones responsible for phototropism again when it comes to tropism do learn all the phototropism then geotropism hydrotropism thigmotropism chemotropism very important dear students see phototropism so response towards the light the plant responds towards the light we will call it as phototropism geo plants responds towards the gravity hydro plants responds towards the water chemo plants respond towards the chemicals so like this it's very important okay so here the plant hormone that is responsible towards the phototropism is the auxin because auxin is synthesized at the shoot tips okay so it will bend towards the light auxin is enabling the plant to bend towards the light so the so auxin is a plant hormone which is synthesized at the shoot tip and it is promoted at the cells it enables the cells to elongate okay so it leads to the apical dominance and also phototropism so it is very important dear students so do learn all the you know tropic movements the plant and also positive phototropic or negative phototropic they can ask positive tropisms and negative tropisms you must know so when we talk about shoot and root shoot is showing the positive phototropism root is showing the negative phototropism with respect to geotropism root is showing positive geotropism whereas shoot is showing the negative geotropism so like that negative and positive phototropisms are also very very important i hope you found this video useful dear students and at final don't forget to study the plant hormones and their functions animal hormones and their functions human brain functions and parts of human brain voluntary actions and involuntary actions so these are very very important with respect to examination point of view okay so i hope you found this video useful in this video series 4 i will be discussing about the very important questions from the lesson life process until then take care and prepare well for your examination